Hey guys, we're back for another review, and today we got the Nextorch TA30C. This is similar size to the TA30 version 2. This will give you 1600 lumens with 303 meters of throw, and at 2.5 hour runtime, the impact resistance is 2 meters, IPX8 water resistance up to 2 meters, has a two stage momentary switch, as well as a magnetic switch, so you can choose levels individually, or have instant access to, to turbo and a tactical strobe with just the push of a tactical rear button. Does have a smooth reflector to help throw that SST40 emitter out as far as possible and it includes a 2600 milliamp hour battery with type C charging but it also includes a sleeve that will allow you to use two CR123As. Now the packaging when it showed up it's quite nice. It did have a slot on here for an individual battery that was separately wrapped, but has the typical hang tab style packaging. Inside the packaging was the actual light as well as the instruction manual, a Nextorch branded USB-C cable, the sleeve adapter that allows you to use the two CR123A batteries, as well as separate o-rings and a lanyard. Now as far as the actual light goes, like I said, 1600 lumens at 303 meters. You also have the option of your medium mode, which is 330 lumens at 130 meters, and then 20 lumens at 24 meters. Your run times are two and a half hours on high, four and a half hours on medium, and up to 50 hours on low. As far as the actual flashlight is concerned, this is a 6061 body, and I have to say, it feels very good in the hands. Now, I have seen reviews that had one small nitpick, and unfortunately, that does carry over to this. But other than that, frankly, I can't find anything wrong with this. It's well built. The machining is very well done. The pressure on the button feels fantastic. The head does have anti-roll flats machined into it, so you can set it on the table and it won't just sit here and roll around. But that nitpick I was telling you about, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a different height in the knurling on the body of the light versus the knurling on the tail cap. And it's very, very minuscule, but if you notice it, like me, you probably won't be able to unsee it. Now to keep their tactical feel, they did switch to a titanium bezel, and that's gonna give you a lot of durability as well as ceramic strike beads in case you actually have to make contact with the front of your light. Now the spring clip does feel really, really nice, but it is a thinner material, so I feel like if it is in your pocket, it might catch on something, and if it does that, it might take some persuasion to take it back to its original shape. On top of that, it isn't a deep carry clip. You're not gonna be able to sit this whole thing inside your pocket, but that will allow you to easily access it if you ever need it in a hurry. One interesting thing to note about this pocket clip is that it actually does fit underneath the tail cap switch. So it's removable when it's back in place and we put everything back together. It actually sits stuck underneath the tail cap switch. That'll stop it from com ever coming off and it's not going anywhere, unlike a lot of other style pocket clips. This isn't going anywhere. Now as far as the LED, this does have an SST40 from Luminous and that is paired with a smooth reflector and that's going to help that 303 meters of throw. And the whole thing is controlled via the tail cap. Let me see if I can get this up close for you guys so you can see. So you have your tactical rear switch two stage and then you have a magnetic dial here which indicates low, medium, and high but you can also go to a full-time strobe without having to activate the rear switch. So I can show you on the light exactly how this operates with its user interface. A half press of the switch will activate an instant turbo mode with a full press of the switch activating your tactical strobe and then like I showed earlier, you have your tactical, which is solely the operation of the rear switch. 
then you have then you have low medium and high and again those ratings are 20 lumens 330 lumens and then 1600 lumens and their battery includes USB-C charging rated at 2600 milliamp hours but I'll get into its actual capacity here in a little bit now the next torch TA30C does have a battery indicator built into the tail cap once the light is on and it's shut off you will get an indicator here bright blue will be from 100 to 75 percent battery a pale flashing blue will be that 75 down to 50 percent mark it'll move to red as soon as it's below that 50 percent mark down to 25 percent and anything below 25 percent will be the pale red flashing and if you don't like this spring clip if you wish it were a little deeper or if you just have a preference they do also offer an, an optional FR1 and that is a tactical flashlight ring which I happen to have right here and if you want an even more tactical feel or don't like this style of pocket clip they do offer an optional FR1 tactical flashlight ring and I have that right here now I don't know what type of material this is but it's very well made offers a lot of strength and I've actually stress tested this quite a bit and can't get it to budge but very easy deployment as well with the tail cap off there are grooves cut in here that will line up on either side with your pocket clip and then you simply screw the cap back on And there you go. It's another strike surface. Can be used as a deep pocket clip. It'll allow rapid deployment and as, as well as give you a secure carry. Allows one hand use of your electronic devices without impeding movement. However, for the battery, it's rated at 2600 milliamp hours. I was able to test it with my USB meter and I came in at 2,286 milliamp hours. It's a little shy on the battery capacity, however it still beat its run times. It's rated at two and a half hours on high and I got two hours and 41 minutes. So not a huge jump, but at the same time still very respectable. So let's go ahead and get this outside at night and we'll get some output tests for you to be able to see low, medium, and high. All right, guys, for the next torch TA30C, we have low, medium, and high. And I'll do a quick test of the strobe. For the next torch TA30 Max, we have low, medium, and high. So let's get back inside and I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, guys, that's my take on the next torch TA30C. I have to say, all in all, I'm very, very pleased with this. I think it's a nice size. Everything fits in your hand. It is a very tactical feel, allows you to be able to utilize all of its options without having to fumble around with side switches and making sure that you have access to certain buttons or switches or modes or having to remember anything like that. Very simple user interface very pleased with it straight to the point no frills no gimmicks but it offers the options it needs to offer so you get the best use of your light now to give you a quick size comparison this is the next torch ta30c and it's 2100 lumen brethren the next torch ta30 max much less pocketable still not a large light but this one's rated at 2100 lumens this is the competitor that I used outside for the nighttime shots. So you can see 1600 lumens, 2100 lumens. Frankly, there's not much of a difference as far as actual light output. Obviously, the more the better. But this one fits much better inside your pocket. So we are trying to talk with Nextorch right now and get a coupon code to save you even more money if you decide to buy the Nextorch TA30C. And when we get that all ironed out, it'll be in the description below. We had 50 viewers. 
In the meantime, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. For as soon as we get to 50 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.